Hello and welcome. Within this video I'll be showing you interviews from students, teachers and even parents alike on what technologies enhance learning the most. For obvious reasons, not all the tools in the promotional video can be shown because of limited time in the clip. Hope you enjoy. Every student uh, in Queensmead School has access to Fronto, which is the school's VLE. Uh, lessons are regularly provided with resources using the VLE, which means students can access the resources at their own pace. Uh, this is fantastic uh, for differentiating between uh, uh, SEN uh, students who perhaps need extra uh, resources and gift and tell students who we can then uh, provide extension tasks. One of the main benefits about Fronta is that students can also access their documents, their work, any place in the world with an internet connection, which means they can work on extended homework projects which are posted on Fronta and they can then access and work on at home. Uh, all their work can then be uploaded and teachers can check and mark their work and assess it online. There's a great facility which allows other students to also peer assess using uh, the online using the facilities in front uh, and give peer assessed marks uh, to each other to make improvements. Uh, at Queensmead we use podcasting with our students uh, in order to aid revision. Uh, so students will select a topic that they need to revise um, and they'll use a microphone um, and um, speech editing software uh, in order to create their podcast. Um, now there are lots of benefits of using podcasts for our students. Uh, one of the key benefits is that it is much better than using manual methods for revision. So for example, students could write out their revision notes on paper. Um, however, we do recommend uh, that podcasting is used because podcasts are portable, um, they can be carried around by the students on their MP3 players uh, when they're outside of school, um, so they can revise wherever they go. Um, podcasting also aids peer learning because students can swap their podcasts with each other and they can listen to what each other student has produced. Um, so this aids peer learning because they can learn and add to their revision based on what they've heard uh, from other students. We used Smart Notebook. And how do you believe the technology that you did use enhanced the students' learning? Um, as I said, I think it's the fact that they're able to get up out of their seats, they like coming up to the front of the class. There's an element of, sort of competition and uh, a bit of banter within the, the group of the students seeing are they going to get it right. Um, there's the excitement when they do get it right and actually there's a lot of, um, I guess a certain amount of ass assessment that goes on amongst the students as well because if the student starts to make a mistake they're going to say no, 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 it's not that one, it's not that one. So it makes it more lively, it's much more interactive um, and as I say you could do it with paper on the desk but it engages the whole class, uh, there's one focus on the board and actually they remember the vocabulary a lot more this one. I use uh, the slate in class, which is, as you can see in the video, device where students can take control of the screen. Uh, for one, it really helps with student engagement. It gives the students the ability to you know, become the teacher for a few minutes. Um, and it also really, really helps in terms of them showing their work off to, uh, to the class. They can take control of the board from where they're sitting, show their work off. It also really helps with peer assessment. So I use the slate for class engagement and for peer assessment. So Elliot, you use... Facebook for ICT related subjects. Please explain how it enhances your learning and how instant it how how instant it is to for well, teacher. I, I, I think it's playback. great for us because we can do whatever it is we need to do at home. We don't have to sit around and wait for our marking. We get feedback in we get feedback instantly, and I think that's just such a great use of our time. Really, we can pretty much do anything. Ah, fair enough. And w would you say it's instant back from uh, instant reply back from teachers since it's a social network and a lot of people use Facebook in their spare time? Yeah, it is almost all the time uh, a constant method of communication, keeping in touch. It's, it's much better than just coming in at school and spending some time and waiting for them to do the paperwork. Could you actually, like, if someone like posted some of their work or a query, could one of the other students, for instance, uh, comment and answer it for them so yeah, it's like student yeah, the, the feedback students, itself. The students can act as teachers as well you don't have to just rely on the teachers you can ask the other students in that, uh, in that class. So what type of technology did you use in your maths class? Well the technology we use at the moment we're using iPad technology in the lessons and with that we're using a video recording software or screen recording software called Camtasia or ScreenFlow. Um, how I use um, these in the lessons, I, I do what's called flip learning and what that entails is I record the lesson that I would usually deliver to the students in front of them. I record it in my house at home and there are two things that happen. Either I get the students to watch that video before the lesson and then when they come in they just do maths, no more listening to me. 
Or sometimes in the lesson, I give them the iPads and they can listen to my lesson um, on the iPad so that they can pause it and watch it over and over again if they need to, or skip bits that they understand, or um, just uh, slow it down and make sure they understand the key concepts. So the iPads are used for them to personalize the pace and delivery of the mathematics and the screen recording software is just used to be able, uh, for me to be able to record what I'm saying for them to be able to access it. So, what were the alternatives um, of the technology that you could have used? Well, what I'm replacing in essence, in the first instance, is me standing at the board um, explaining to pupils how to do maths. And I'm, it, in this flip model, I'm still doing that, but I'm doing that and allowing the students access to that information in their own time. The, the, the problem with doing it in front of their face is that students sometimes are a little distracted, they're looking out the window, they don't get it at the same time. Um, and I can only say it once to 30 students before you know half the class might get it, half don't get it. So everyone's at a different point. This technology is allowing me to personalize those instructions for the students so they can understand um, um, and give themselves the opportunity to move forward before we progress and do any maths. So that's the main benefit of what we're doing. And how would you say it enhances the students' learning, the technology that you used? Well, we've, uh, we've asked many students their opinion. The main thing students say is it offers them the opportunity to uh, work at their own pace. And uh, what they mean by that, technical you know, teacher jargon there is differentiation. The students in maths can work at the pace appropriate to their learning. It suddenly frees them up for having to scribble notes down in front of the board while the teacher's doing it. It allows them to slow down, uh, take their time, and make sure they understand. That's the main enhancement to learning. Over and above that, the iPads offer a lot of other things we're doing in the school. We can teach mathematics using the iPads, not only using video tutorials. We can use online graphing software where students can see their mathematics. We use a, a, an online program called Wolfram Alpha where students are able to put in, for example, an equation and watch the computer solve it. And we can then ask students how to reverse engineer that process. So as well as the tutorials, which are a big part of the flipped learning, the software is allowing us access to any mathematics on the web and it allows students to, um, to, to have access to what they need to progress forward. James, you use my maths in your spare time. I did once when I was doing maths at GCSE, now I don't use that much when I'm not taking maths. And do you, did you find it as a fun way of learning maths? I found it case? very helpful and fun. I enjoyed playing the games. They really helped me with the revisions coming up to the exams, for example. Uh, would you say that it's, um, like, would you say is there any online, like, you can play with your friends and they can help you on Some questions? Some games you're able to do online with other friends and play against them, which is quite good. So you can sit there during maybe a revision, revision lesson and just get on with it. Fair enough. Uh, would you say that Queen Mead has enhanced learning in maths through this? I think it has helped in a huge way because teachers have therefore been able to do homework on it, for example, which are able to take home and work on it, which will help you with your learning and revision and so on. So when you come to class, you learn a lot more, basically. What are your views on my school, my child at school, and how Queen Mead has implemented it into the, the um, parent and student lifestyle? I think My Child at School website is incredibly good because I can tell what my child is doing at school at all times, her punctuality, and his attendance, and how good she's doing. I can see the school reports. And, and what, what, good. would you say you can see up to date? Oh yes, I can see what she's doing today if I wanted to, yes. And would you say Queensmead has implemented it quite well in the sense that they have always got it up to date? and they are always using it in the background for their learning. I would say so, yes. I'd be, I'm very happy with Queen's Mead. How would you say that tracker is implemented into your learning? We can see our grades very easily, and we can access it from home, and when we're on holiday, we can see how we can improve our work and do it there. Uh, would you say you can, what, you've got to approve upon your grades while you're, um, Using that tracker, like, would you say it's easy to see what to do next? Like, is there notes or something like that? Yeah, the teachers give us comments and where the description is for the units, you can see what to do next. Would you say it's easy to use? Is it easy interface to use? Yeah, it's easy to use. You can see your grades and the teacher's comments and, yeah, it's just good to use. 
Would you say you can compare your Knack Tracker with a fellow peer, for instance, and you can help each other out on what you've completed on your work and what they've completed on their work? Would you say you could do that? Since yeah, they'll... you can do that. If they open Knack Tracker beside you, you can see how... And compare, right? And you can compare, yeah. You can say, if they got a yes on one thing and you've got a no for achieving it, then they can help me out with the ones that I got no's on. Um, and do you use Fronter at all? I use Fronter. Uh, would you say Fronter is a good implementation into technology to enhance student learning at all? Yeah. And how would you say, like, would, can you upload work? What, what is it basically? What I mean, what is Fronter. like, yeah, what is Fronter? Apart from it being Fronter, of course. In Fronter, you can receive resources for your learning and hand in information and documents to your teacher. Without, without you needing to be at the actual school itself, right? Yeah, you can do it at home. You can do it abroad, can you? You can use it abroad, it's international. Ah, there you go. Um, yes. Uh, so would you say overall Nat Tracker and Fronter is great resources that the schools implement into their learning? Yeah, it's a great way. All schools should do it.